nervous system. Major division and parts of the nervous system. Your nervous system connects all your body parts and transmits signals from one part to another. It is a system of cells, tissues, and organs that regulates the body's responses to internal and external stimuli. Each part of the nervous system has a specific role as it functions as an important part of a system. The central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. What is central nervous system? CNS. The CNS serves as the main processing center for the entire nervous system. It consists of two main components, namely the A. Brain. B. Spinal cord. The brain. The brain is an organ located within the skull that functions as organizer and distributor of information for the body. It has three main parts. Cerebrum Cerebellum Brain stem Cerebrum is the large, upper part of the brain that controls activity and thought. Cerebellum is the part under the cerebrum that controls posture, balance, and coordination. Brain stem is the part that connects the brain to the spinal cord and controls automatic functions such as breathing, digestion, heart rate, and blood pressure. The spinal cord The spinal cord serves as a channel for signals between the brain and the rest of the body, and controls simple musculoskeletal reflexes without input from the brain. What is peripheral nervous system? The PNs connects the central nervous system to the organs and limbs. It has two main division. A. Somatic nervous system. B. Autonomic nervous system. The somatic nervous system. Somatic nervous system is associated with the voluntary control of body movements and has two main parts. A. Spinal nerves. B. Cranial nerves. Spinal nerves. The nerves that carry motor and sensory signals between the spinal cord and the body. Cranial nerves. The nerves fibers that carry information into and out of the brain stem. The autonomic nervous system. 
Autonomic nervous system is associated with the involuntary control of body movements. It has two subdivisions. 1. Sympathetic 2. Parasympathetic Sympathetic is activated when the body is in a dynamic role or stress, examples, increased heart rate and breathing, dilation of pupil, sweating, etc. Parasympathetic maintains body functions and restores the body to normal or relaxed mode. Now at this point you should have a basic understanding of the nervous system, but let's do a quick recap. The basic purpose of the nervous system is to coordinate all the activities of the body. It enables the body to respond and adapt to changes that occur both inside and outside the body. The two major parts to the nervous system are the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. The central nervous system is also divided into two major structures, the brain and the spinal cord. The brain is found within the skull or cranium and it is made up of six main sections. These six sections are the cerebrum, cerebellum, diencephalon, the midbrain, pons, and the medulla oblongata. The other half of the central nervous system is the spinal cord. And the spinal cord is the link between the brain and the nerves and the rest of your body. The spinal cord is divided into four different regions. The cervical, thoracic, lumbar, and afferent and efferent spinal nerves, which merge to form the peripheral nerves. Now that we know the brain and spinal cord primarily make up the central nervous system, let's look at the peripheral nervous system. The peripheral nervous system is essentially the nervous system outside of the brain and spinal cord. The peripheral nervous system is then subdivided into two smaller systems called the somatic nervous system and the autonomic nervous system. So, as you can see, the nervous system is quite complex. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. Thanks for watching. Look for more videos on the nervous system at ctskills.com.